Hey all, welcome back. We're actually going to continue on our hands-on uh, exercise experience in this module with uh, just expanding upon the call flow components and basics. Uh, this is just getting more hands-on experience with more of the call flow components in Architect, understand their function and functions and purposes. Um, so let's get started. We already are logged in. Um, we are logged into Architect. I have our first call flow that we created in the last hands-on exercise in edit mode. Uh, what we're going to do here is create a menu, uh, create a call task and a schedule check. So let's go ahead and start doing that. The first thing is almost kind of working backwards a little bit. For this call task, we're going to have a schedule check within this call task. Uh, we need to create that task first. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to label it schedule check. That way we have a, a good understanding of just viewing it that, that what's going to be contained in there. So how you do that is go to your toolbox. Going to go to logical, evaluate schedule group. Remember, we had discussed in a previous one um, that the schedule, uh, the evaluate schedule, evaluate schedule group are different by the evaluate schedule is really only evaluating one schedule you have. So it could be any, it could be open or closed, holiday or emergency schedule, make, seeing if it's open or closed and giving a value. On schedule group, it's taking an accumulation of what you've put into a group uh, that's labeled for a schedule. Uh, and checking all of those and, and going down the appropriate path uh, given what is enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and add our schedule group to that. In this one, if you, ne if you need to check for an emergency group, you're going to have to add that as well. I just uh, I had already created two, so we got that going. So now, obviously, if one of these is enabled, a kind of backward check, it checks for emergency first, then it checks to see if there's any holidays, checks to see if it's closed, and then if all those are not um, do not apply, it, it goes to open. So based off of that, now we have our schedule. Uh, what we're going to do is in order to create this, um, like a, a call task, we need to end that task. And you can kind of see the end task here. We're not going to have any output paths right now because we need to create that uh, in the other side. But what I'm doing is I'm going and I copied the object and paste it. And you kind of see there's a default option and that's it. So what we need to do is now go back to the starting task. We're going to go ahead and put this in between audio and transfer to ACD sales because what we want to do is we want to play that welcome message, but we also want it to check to make sure that this queue is open. So we're going to go ahead and toolbox for task. This time, instead of jump to reusable task, we're going to actually call task. And you can see the call task here. Let me go ahead and uh, bring that in a little bit. <clears throat> now for these options here, there is some... Uh, they're going to have a schedule check that you're going to call, and now these add paths. So there's a default path that's automatically added, but we want to add some different paths. So we're going to add open path and close path. And I, I would normally, if, if I'm doing it this way, I would normally uh, just do open and default, um, but I want to show you exactly what you can do, the power of this on how this happens um, by doing all four. So now we have the different output methods. So if we flip back over to the schedule check task, now when we go output path, we'll see all of these. So let's go ahead and include those. It's pretty much just taking it to the drop down and matching what, uh, what it is. And open. See, this does not need to have an action, a terminating action, because this is really just calling this task. And once it gets to end of task, it automatically continues on down this path. So now when it's come back, now it's looking to see what that the end task was labeled as and then follows those paths. In this situation, <clears throat> we would then click. And nice thing about this, so we can click and drag. And now we know that uh, in open, or if it comes back as open, we're transferring to the queue, the sales queue. Let's say uh, we want to add a few menus to this first, you know, because we want uh, we have a support queue that we're now up and going or that's up and going. We want to make sure that they have the option that to select sales or um, or uh, support. You can see I've deleted the menu that they had that we had here. So go ahead and delete that. And it's really just you're picking those three lines and hitting delete and then um, confirming. So we're going to go ahead and create a menu. <clears throat> In that menu, obviously, you need to put some kind of menu prompt so they know what the you know the what they know what the expectation is. They know what they need to you know they they're given options to select something. So I'm going to go ahead and I had already created a prompt. You can you can put the menu prompt verbiage in there. It is on uh, the the exercise pamphlet that's that's included in this module. Uh, 
or you can come up with whatever you want. Uh, I really essentially have, if you'd like to, if you'd like sales, please press one for support, please, uh, press two or remain on the line. So now remain on the line we know is going to default to option two, but let's go ahead and get the task going. So we're going to take a task, click and drag it, drop it over. We need two tasks for that. So we're going to go ahead and grab another task real quick just to have it there. <clears throat> going to go ahead and redo the menu. I'm just going to put main menu here. For option one, that's for sales. So we want to do the DTMF in one uh, and put sales. If you are going to use speech rec, you would put that in here. So, you know, sales, um, salesmen, like something like that, if you want. I'm not going to do that. Uh, that's, but that's all you have to do in order for speech rec to pick that up. Uh, option two, we're going to go ahead and put DTMF for two. And this is going to be for support. So now we have our two, uh, our two paths here. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and for default interaction, it's gonna go support. I'm gonna make sure, see there's the defaults, they're not set correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the defaults in the settings, the menus under settings here to two and five. Obviously you will follow whatever uh, your business requirements are. Um, I just always put it at two and five, because that's pretty, that's pretty common. Um, so for option one for sales, we are going to have it interact and go to the sales department. So we're going to go ahead and toolbox, transfer, and we're going to transfer to ACD. And that's going to be pretty easy. We're going to be able to do the support, the sales queue there. Obviously, we're not default uh, overriding the in queue handling now. Um, in later modules, we'll actually create an in queue flow, and, and I'll walk you through all that. Um, obviously, you can put whatever you want to put here. For uh, transfer audio or pre-transfer audio, I always put blank audio, uh, as you guys know already. Um, no priority on this. Uh, there's no other call flows that have this sales queue it's transferring to, so we don't need any kind of priority for this. Uh, but we do need a terminating action. So instead of uh, doing a disconnect here, which is a pretty easy thing, uh, we're going to just have this go to... Let's create another task. And this is a little bit extra, so you may have... Uh, on these hands-on exercises, I got pretty basic instructions on how to create different things. Um, for the hands-on videos, we may add a few things here and there just uh, to give you other options. Um, I don't catch it on the uh, on the document just because I don't know what I may add at the time. But here, I'm just going to put some TTS in here. Error has occurred. Please leave a message and the sales team will return your call as soon as possible. So what we did there, if I can spell possible, is we're going to play them audio. And instead of, um, instead of it just disconnecting, we're going to go ahead and transfer it to the voicemail. Now, there's still going to be a disconnect that we're going to have to do here, but in an effort to just allow at least it to try to get to somewhere, um, we're going to go ahead and do that. So now if something happens and for whatever reason it's unable to transfer to the queue, it's going to play your customer a message uh, that some error has occurred. Please leave a voicemail. Now, granted, here we're still going to have to do a disconnect, but this gives us another round of hoping that it gets caught. Uh, I haven't seen any failures happen going to queue, but let's say something, you know, for some reason that part of Genesis Cloud goes down, at least there's another backup here uh, to kind of assist to get that customer um, to somewhere instead of getting disconnected. So there is uh, the new task that we've just created. I'm gonna go ahead and rename that task. And this is gonna be like, let's just say error handling. Let's do air handling for sales. Because we'll do the same thing for support. So sales, now what we can do is we can go ahead and transfer to a task. It's going to jump to a reusable task. And they'll be able to select the sales air handling. So there you go. There's your first completed one. For support, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, and we're going to create a different reusable task. And the nice thing about this is you're able to let me go ahead and X out of that one. You're able to copy this 
and then put it back in. And so now we can go ahead and rename. That's what makes this very powerful uh, because we are able to copy almost anything and just edit instead of actually having to recreate. So instead of this, the thing we want to hear or do here on the properties panel is go ahead and support because obviously this is going to be for option two. I'm going to do the same kind of information there of the, the prompt. And now we're going to go ahead and transfer to the, or jump to reusable task. And this one's going to be for support. So now it gives us a little bit, a little bit of assistance of if something happens, we're able to get to a default menu. That's kind of here too for event handling. You can do the same thing. You put, you know, whatever one in there. Now you can't send it to multiple queues. You can only transfer to one queue, but you could jump to a reusable task. Uh, we could set some variables that, you know, flow queue equals what the queue is supposed to be and grab it that way. Uh, that'll be in a later uh, hands-on, which will be pretty awesome to see. Um, but there you go. Uh, we have created a menu. We have also created a call task to check the schedule check. And so the last piece that we need to do after creating this initial menu is forward this closed holiday emergency and default to another one. So my thought process around that is going ahead and copying this menu, which is another great thing of being able to copy. I'm going to go ahead and paste. So now it pastes the same thing. This time I'm going to do after hours menu. Automatically support is where I'm going to have it sent. Um, I do have a different prompt for this because obviously we want to uh, offer them voicemail anyway. We don't want to send them to queue. So essentially we're going to go ahead and remove these. So this is the sales one and we're going to go and transfer to voicemail. And this is going to transfer to voicemail for sales. I'm going to go ahead and add my blank audio that I always do. And then obviously the terminating action that we have to have. So there's sales. I'm going to go ahead and put transfer to sales voicemail. And this, if you can think about this, it's transfer to support voicemail. And go ahead and delete. And so now this is going to be transferring to voicemail. We'll do this again for Q. You can kind of see how powerful and how quick this can happen. So as you're adding all of these different things, it becomes second nature to where this all needs to happen a certain way. Um, and you'll be able to just knock these out pretty quickly based around what they want. So here, this is one thing I see I missed and I was going through this and checking, is the support piece. We need to add a transfer to ACD. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. So that's there. After hours menu. See, now there's a red mark here, and we don't exactly know why. So what you can do is you can go ahead and highlight. It says default menu choice is void. So there you go. It really is assistance. So default menu choice is void. It's not really. It's just not there. Um, so we can validate to see if it's still going to pop up. And it goes away. So it was already there. It just for some reason didn't quite catch on that it was there. So now we have created from start to finish a complete call flow that comes in, welcomes them. Um, if it's open, it's going to transfer to ACD. We don't want that, so we want to delete that. And now we're going to go ahead and transfer to a menu. So jump to menu and main menu. For all of these other ones, you don't have to do individual. You could actually go ahead down to the bottom here and jump to menu and make this your after hours and then you can just remove disconnect because that is a terminating action jump to the menu so it comes in plays the welcome message it calls the sale the schedule check reusable task uh, checks to see which it is if it's anything after hours not open it's going to go to this after hours menu which they then would have options to select sales or support voicemail it's going to default to support voicemail Open is also going to transfer to a menu, but it's going to allow them to either pick one or two for sales or support queue. 
And if that errors out, we'll then go to voicemail. So I hope you guys had uh, a good experience with this uh, hands-on exercise. Obviously, by the end of this one, you should be fam more familiar with the different components, their functions, the purposes. Um, this one is a really good one because we just added a bunch of content, and we're going to build on this in the upcoming modules. Look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.